Are you still thinking of the best player of the conference award? Honestly, do you still think about it? Did you ever think about it? Um, I never even, honestly, I never really thought about it. Um, it's good to be recognized for that because then you know your hard work is paying off. But seriously, come on, when you knew you were averaging over 20 <laughs> points per game, you mean to tell me you did not think of, hey, this is BPC numbers. I, I, could, I, I could have a shot at this. Um, yeah, you think about it, but then my ultimate goal was to bring the team to the next level, you know, and, and when that didn't happen, then nothing else matters, you know, because I'm, you know, you can't win that award unless you get to the next level anyway. So once my mindset was getting into the semis and getting into the finals, you know, and, and if, if I was up for the best player conference award and I got it, then, then that's, that's even, that's icing on the cake, you know, but to me, the individual awards will come when the team does better, you know. I mean that that that's proven in in all the awards, you know. When your team is winning, then awards come, you know. But if you're not, because I put up numbers before, you know, but it doesn't matter if your team's losing, you know. So it's not that important to you. Um, no, it's not. It's 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 really not that important to me. I mean, it's good to be recognized for it, just because, like I said, you know, the hard work that you put in and and you know, the stuff that you're doing on the court, working hard every every game, you know, is recognized. Um, it's good for that, you know, but I'd rather be in the, I'd rather still be playing right now rather than, you know, if you told me I was going to win the best player conference tomorrow, I'd rather, or you could still be in the semis, I'll pick the semis. You'd pick the semis? For sure. Without, without even a thought. So if it's not that important to you then, I will ask you, <laughs> who should be the best player of the conference? Um, I like uh, Jason. Jason or even Calvin. I mean, those are two guys that changes, you know, obviously talking Texas is the best team, you know, and Jason is a huge reason why, you know, and in Alaska, they're in the semis and, and uh, Calvin is a huge reason why. He changes their whole, you know, complexion of the team. So either one of those guys is very deserving. You know, if, if Jason Castro becomes BPC, I don't think a lot of people will be surprised. That's Jason Castro. Right. He's going to be an MVP someday. But Calvin Abueva, if he becomes BPC, wow. I mean, here's a rookie, and with all the expectations, and with all the pressure, and with all the drama, and then if he becomes BPC, I think, I think that's, that's, that would be like a like big shock to the system. Uh, would you agree? Yeah, man, I mean, I, I give it up to that guy because, I mean, he had so much hype on him. Even, you know, going from the college, what he did in the college, to becoming into the PBA. He had so much hype. And a lot of players, when they had that much hype, it's hard to live up to it. And he lived it up to it. seems impossible to yeah, live up right, to it. Right, right. And he had all that hype, and he lived up to it. He had 20 points, 18 rebound games. I mean, there's, like, his energy, or, like you said, there's times where he's on the floor getting mush faced by Rob and getting up and getting still. I mean, just stuff like that to live up to that, you know, is, is really amazing. So, I mean, either one of those guys, like you said, though, Calvin, is, that would be very impressive if he did win it. I think impressive, radical, and earth-shaking if, right. if he does win uh, BPC. But the, the very reason why I asked you about the BPC was because, well, you, you put up the numbers. You put up serious numbers. Now, did you do something different? Did you do anything differently from, let's say, last season compared to this Philippine Cup? Um, just, just playing with, with, um, with more, just having more fun out there. I mean, yeah, the system fit me, but I used to play the game a different way. You know, I used to play the game with just a chip on my shoulder, very mad at everybody, and, and it was always me against the world. And and now. Ever since my father passed away, like I realized just how valuable life is and how blessed I am to be playing a game that I love, you know, and I enjoy doing. So why play it with, you know, anger and why play it with with a chip on my shoulder? And I just started playing a game and having fun, enjoying the game every every game, you know, even if we lost, you know, I was still blessed to play that game, you know, and and I think that transferred onto the court. I wasn't thinking as much. I was I was playing the game more freely and and just enjoying what I was doing, and I think that. That's the reason why I, you know, I put up the numbers I did. Okay, so I, I asked you about the BPC. I might as well ask you, if the BPC is farthest from your mind, what about season MVP? What about that? I mean, is that is that part of your life goals in your basketball career? I mean, you, if you, um, 
if I was to say no, then I'd be lying. You know, obviously everybody wants to win an MVP or you know be recognized for what they do, and and yeah, that's in my mind because in order to win MVP, I'm gonna have to win some championships. You know, so it's it's through the whole season. We have two more conferences, and I think if we do win a championship, maybe you know next conference or the next conference or get into the finals and. Then I'll be up for the MVP, and and that's great because that means the team is where we should be. So, yeah, that is my drive is to win the MVP in this league, and and I know I can't do it if we win a championship. So, you know, that's a double motivator. And and you're not shy to admit it because you know some players they'll probably say uh, no, no, I'm not thinking about that. But you're not shy saying it that you are actually thinking about it. I mean, yeah, I mean, anybody that doesn't want to win an MVP, then they don't believe in herself. You know, I believe that I can win MVP and lead this team into the finals and, and ultimately a championship. And when you do that, you know, ultimately you get recognized for, for being the most valuable player of your team. So, and that feels good. You know, you, that's some, that's a, that's a dream. You know, that's a dream of mine and, and is to be recognized for the most valuable player in this league.